But first, a crossover crash kills a driver, critically injures another, and leaves I-71 shut down for hours. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. A semi-truck driver veered out of control today and crossed into oncoming traffic. This all happened this morning along 71 in Verona, Kentucky, right near the 71-75 split. The southbound lanes just reopened about 45 minutes ago. WLWT News 5's John London is live for us near the spot with the very latest from investigators tonight. John. Yeah, investigators here in Boone County tonight looking at a number of possible causes. Wind, slick spots on the interstate, driver inattention maybe. A northbound semi ends up in the southbound lanes after something caused that driver to clip a disabled car. This was the aftermath of a wicked four-vehicle fatal that shut I-71 near Verona and left a sizable cleanup job that took hours. Investigators say a northbound semi that normally hauls livestock lost control after sideswiping a disabled Chevy Cavalier, crossing the median and hitting two southbound vehicles head-on, the impact killing a 45-year-old pickup driver from Lexington and badly injuring a second driver, 64-year-old Sandra Edwards of Cincinnati. The semi driver, Christopher Thornhill of DL Winter Livestock Express, came away with minor injuries. The disabled vehicle was unoccupied, keys still in it at the time, broken down on the high speed sign of the northbound lanes. The semi, for some reason, got too close to it. It could be that he's, he's got an empty trailer and, and the wind uh, caused this. I, you know, I, th I think any, anything's open right now. Accident reconstruction investigators were out here assessing potential slick conditions, trying to determine speed, that sort of thing. One big rig out of control, suddenly approaching two unsuspecting vehicles coming the other way. When you're talking about that, they call that Delta V and, and, uh, and the amount of force coming in at each other from different angles. So, uh, but they, they were out here doing a skid test to determine uh, exactly that. It took much of the day to bring in heavy equipment to get the tractor trailer into a position to be hauled out so that the southbound portion of 71 could reopen. And just under an hour ago, southbound 71 back behind me here was back in business. So far, no charges as this investigation continues forward. Reporting live in Boone County, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, thank you. The woman who survived, Sandra Edwards, was airlifted to the hospital with life threatening injuries. The name of the pickup driver who died is being withheld until all family members are notified. We